What's up, guys? We're back. So today we're going to be reviewing this documentary titled Chasing Coral. We are so excited for today's video, but before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get on with the video. Most people stare up into space with wonder. Yet we have this almost alien world on our own planet, just teeming with life. It's a world completely out of sight and out of mind. I have the utmost respect for corals. They're really sophisticated animals. Coral is a fundamental part of a huge ecosystem. They continue living as long as their environment allows them to. There's this big heat wave that's traveling around all over the world. The coral bleaches, and what you're seeing is its skeleton underneath. It's like your body temperature changing. That's the seriousness of the issue. So we're sending two teams to put cameras down and capture this bleaching event. The wind and the storms is really the controlling factor right now. The wind just took us. The stern anchor didn't hold. It's just demolished. You're working in an environment every single day that humans were built for. Your body is caught up, and then you open your eyes. And it's dead as far as you can see. We don't have any time to waste if we want to have any hope. We live at a unique moment in time where we can change history. It's not too late for coral reefs. This has got to wake up the world. So Chasing Corals is a documentary film released on Netflix last 14th of July, 2017. It was directed by Jeff Orlowski, produced by Larissa Rhodes as an Exposure Labs production. So these were the same people that did Chasing Ice and documented the effect of global climate change on the glaciers in the Arctic. The documentary was awarded in the Satellite Award for the Best Motion Picture Documentary. Chasing Coral is a 2017 documentary film of a group of diverse scientists and photographers around the world documenting the disappearance of coral reefs. So apparently the, fr the film took more than three years to shoot and is the result of more than 500 hours of underwater footage, coral bleaching sub submission from volunteers in 30 countries, as well as support from more than 500 people in various locations around the world. Chasing Corals follows a group of scientists, engineers, and filmmakers cover the course of a couple of years trying to document coral bleaching in the wild. Coral reefs around the world are vanishing at an unprecedented rate. Diverse photographers and scientists set out on an ocean adventure to discover why the reefs are disappearing and to reveal the underwater mystery to the world. Just to expand on what coral bleaching is, coral will essentially only exist in a very limited temperature level because if it gets 1 or 2 degrees hotter than what they're used to, they're going to get rid of all the algae in them that live and can't feed and eventually die. Yeah, so they're supposed to capture this bleaching in over the course of three months. However, they keep missing out on their opportunities to do so, and so the film um, does a really great job of explaining it and with the increasing temperatures the corals are really at risk for it right now and in the future. So like one of the times when all of their um, underwater cameras became out of focus as the time progressed, so like the very first captures they had were great and very vivid but uh, as it, it got slowly more, uh, more and more blurry so that that was another missed opportunity. Um, there were many setbacks, and so what they finally did is that they have they manually captured um, the bleaching every day for the four months. I believe uh, about 120 days, 
So there is a very intimate experience between these guys and it's really really moving um, and it's very disturbing and also gut-wrenching. So one distinct heartbreaking aspect of the documentary was a scene where the corals in kind of like their last death rows became extremely vibrant like bright red purples, bright red greens and yellows and from a plane you can see the reef just go and the way that they addressed it in the movie was just so powerful. And so they were able to capture a time lapse of this beautiful ecology where they showed many other scientists. So to see the gorgeous ecosystem and then see it just wash away. It's very powerful and it's able to depict how important this stuff is because it disrupts all of the fish life and the nearby civilization that actually uses the fish as their main resource. There are a lot of elements of this documentary that we really love to death and there are other portions of this documentary that are just crushing for someone who loves diving in the reef, aquariums, and the oceans. And watching what they've brought to put in your face and show you what's going on, it's heart-wrenching. The thing that is great about it is that it's visually stunning. And by visually stunning, I mean by our standards, the best it's ever been. It's almost as if you, yourself, we're actually diving and considering all the challenges to taking underwater videos. It officially does not get any better. Um, so another aspect is the narrative style of this documentary. It goes back and forth between some exposure and some instruction in coral biology and climate change and its effect on the natural reef. And it does a very good job of starting the basis. I think for someone who has never seen much about corals or who don't even know that corals are creatures, I think this documentary does a really great job at bringing viewers up to speed really easily and acquainted with these subjects. And again, with the graphics, it does a really great job of making people um, care that it's stunningly beautiful stuff. My understanding of this documentary is that the coral reefs are in great danger due to global warming and human activities. Massive coral leaching is happening around the world and there is nothing we can do to stop it or slow it down unless we really take a stand to make a change. This documentary, Chasing Corals, opened my eyes to a greater problem that involved a big ecosystem we never knew we needed until it was taken away. There is less time for these corals to be saved until people understand and will make a movement to help get our coral reefs back before it's too late. For me, the documentary is relevant not just in our generation today but also for the next generations to come. It tells us that we must be aware of what's really happening in our society, specifically in our mother nature. The documentary was nice because it really caught my attention. It was well made and it contains information about the corals which I didn't know before. The documentary opens our minds to what is really happening in the ocean because of ever-changing climate or simply the global warming, which teaches us the lesson to protect our natural resources because we need them in our everyday living which is in fact mentioned, I believe, in the documentary that millions of people depend on their income on the ocean, like the fishes and all the creatures that rely on corals for shelter. So, um, for me, to see these guys just chase the ongoing phenomena that are happening to the corals all over the world, it's just so incredible. Like, to see the corals degrade in that manner, like, it just withers away. It just slowly withers away, and it breaks apart, and, and it just gets washed away in the sea, and it's crazy to witness. Like, it's a really beautiful um, documentary. It's, it's extraordinary, and I think you should definitely watch it if you're into documentaries. Uh, it's very kind of, uh, it's like... Uh, it's angry. It's like, man, we have to do something about this. It's just mind-blowing to see that the world is all pretty much enveloped around the marine ecosystem. And they're like rainforests, as if we're seeing the Amazon. It's just like it started to bleach, it started to go white or just disappear. 
they'd be like, what's going on, right? Um, so one of the overwhelming and disturbing facts is that if it weren't for our oceans capturing all the heat, globally the temperatures would be about 122 degrees, and everything dies, everything you've ever known, all the plants, animals, you and me, we die if the temperatures would reach in that it was a nice film because personally, I am really not into those kind of things or like topics, but then as the film progressed, I realized how salient the coral reefs are. Coral reefs are a vital contribution to lessen the harm that it can cause to humans, considering it is one of the factors in nature that removes carbon gases from our atmosphere. It was a wake-up call for us humans that we should be solicitous towards our environment especially coral reefs. There's this part where the people are partying in the middle of the ocean and they were too oblivious to gain knowledge concerning the phenomenon. They don't know how damaged the coral reefs are also just because of what they do and that alarms me because when will we start caring when the coral reefs are completely destroyed? All in all, the movie was astounding and a wake-up call for us humans to start caring for the environment. This would not only help us today, but this will also be a great contribution for the generations to come. With all things considered, this film directed by Jeff Orlowski really captured the important details from the purpose in making this documentary. They showed us what is really happening in the ocean and in detail, and even showed us the process from what the corals look before and after within just months. It is very upsetting and disturbing that the waters are warming so rapidly and it's because of the carbon in the air. We don't really experience the heat of the climate yet because our water, which is 70% of the earth, captures 93% of that heat. So all the heat is being captured inside the sea and destroying all the ecology and everything inside the ocean. So it's mind-blowing that 93% of that energy that we've burned is captured in the ocean. So it's just warming and warming and warming, and they showed geographical data that shows the incline each and every year just disrupt and get higher and higher. And that's what's causing this coral to bleach. So they're trying to capture it so they can spread the word. So, it's a really well done film where you can connect with those guys who are trying their absolute best to salvage what they can of what's left. Alright, so that's in a nutshell our thoughts on Chasing Coral. We think it was fantastic. Uh, it's brutal in many ways, it's beautiful, and we think it's worth seeing. And we think it's definitely worth sharing or having, having your other friends to see it as well. Guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. You can check out the documentary on YouTube or Netflix. The link will be in the description box below.